migrants in Canada affected by COVID-19. In this video update, we will talk about the migrants, especially in Ottawa who were heavily impacted by COVID-19 pandemic. Infection rate among immigrants and racialized communities high as they face higher risk of exposure. Please support us. Press the subscribe button now and hit the bell icon to get the notification of our video updates. Did you know? You can help us bring you the best, up-to-date, and most reliable information from Immigration Refugees and Citizenship Canada by supporting us on Patreon.com with just £1 a month, link mentioned below. According to a new report, immigrants and racialized communities in Ottawa are at a higher risk of exposure to COVID-19. The summary report titled, The Impact of COVID-19 on Immigrants and Racialized Communities in Ottawa, was based on a virtual community dialogue event, hosted by the Ottawa Local Immigration Partnership, and funded in part by Immigration Refugees and Citizenship Canada. According to the sociodemographic data, racialized communities are overrepresented amongst that data, collected for people tested positive for COVID-19. Nobody is sure of the actual reason. The community dialogue group had to answer its actual cause. Moreover, Olip understood the perfect ways of protecting the community from the spread of virus. Findings are as follows. Communities affected by it had to face many problems including social aspects, especially when it affected their health and well-being. Following aspects include employment, housing, transportation, racism, discrimination, and access to healthcare. Due to systematic racism and discrimination, racialized communities do not have much employment opportunities. Therefore, many immigrants ended up getting frontline jobs, including working as personal support workers, caregivers, childcare workers, cleaners, and rideshare drivers. Many of them do not have enough resources to buy car for their personal transportation, or even use different apps like rideshare apps or even taxis. Therefore, they have to use public transportation, where the risks rates of virus are higher. Since members of affected communities live in extremely crowded places, so if one person of the household gets in contact with the virus, then it becomes difficult of people of the community to distance themselves. Many immigrants and members of racialized communities including international students, refugee claimants, and temporary foreign workers, are temporary residents. They may be uncertain of their immigration status. Some people want to complain about unsafe working conditions, but fear that they would end up losing their job if they do so. Moreover, many people face problems when it comes to keeping a track of their health. Newcomers who do not have Ontario Health Insurance Program, because of the complications in their immigration status, have to reach out to the Interim Federal Health Program. On the other hand, many providers are not offering this program also. Updates on extending your stay in Canada Visitors, students, and temporary foreign workers have the option of extending their stay in Canada during the pandemic. Luckily, they the Canadian Immigration Department has provided them with the opportunity to extend their visit. To be eligible for extended stay, applicants must have been in the county legally from the 30th of January 2020 to the 31st of May 2021. They must have stayed in the country and lost their status during the period. They also have to pay the application processing fee. Concluding the stigma and developing protection plans. Participants of the community dialogue advise different ways to end stigmatizing affected communities and those who contract the virus. They also suggested that, through public education campaigns, they could educate people on the inequities of the impact of COVID-19. 
They also advised that communities must be brought together to share critical information on COVID-19 to protect the affected communities. They also said that testing should be made common and accessible to people in locations of affected communities also. COVID-19 vaccines to be available to immigrants. According to the Public Health Authority of Canada, everyone would get COVID-19 vaccine, regardless of his or her immigration status. Residents and staff of care homes, healthcare workers, and adults in Indigenous communities would be given priority in providing vaccines. This is the end of today's video update. Please comment below and share your thoughts with us. Thanks for watching today's video update.